to another fall themed video. I am still not wearing makeup yet. Um, still healing. Pray for me. <laughs> so yes, it is Monday morning, I think still 11, 18 in the morning. And I've just had a cozy fall morning. I woke up this morning when Steven left for work. I took the day off work. I've been taking a lot of days off in October because I have a ton of PTO to use. Thank you, Jesus. So I woke up this morning and Steven headed out and then I got up with the dog. I went on a walk. I follow Shay Earnshaw, the author, of course, on Instagram, and she had mentioned yesterday in one of her posts that one of the things that she started to do with her morning routine is to just get outside right away in the morning. So she's been going on a walk in nature and in her garden. And I was like, duh, why don't I do that? Like anytime I think of getting up early in the morning, I feel, and going outside, I feel like I have to go for like a run or something like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for a walk. So I did this morning. I just went for a walk and it was beautiful. And it was a little chilly. I probably should have worn like mittens so yeah i just came back from my walk and then i read my bible for a little bit yeah, i'm studying the book of john which is really great i use the enduring word app which i highly 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 recommend and i'm loving it so far um also i'm wearing my earthly shirt and it says big farms over big pharma and i love it and i will of course leave my earthly affiliate link below if you want to check out anything this t-shirt i think is still is still available for purchase. <laughs> Hi. Okay. But yeah, so today I just wanted to do some cozy activities. I started Long Live the Pumpkin Queen last night and I was gonna wait and I was gonna like start a vlog when I started it, but I didn't because I just wanted to start it and I didn't want to start a vlog at night because my lighting is gross. I kind of wish I would have because I was literally sitting there like this. <laughs> as I was reading it because it was so stinking cute. Hi. Oh, you're such a handsome good boy. He's so sweet. He's crazy, but I love him. But I actually wanted to share a few parts of it with you. One second. So I read just for a little bit last night. Stephen had to work an overnight last night. So I made it to chapter four, which is page 60, or no, 56. <laughs> and it's just so sweet. So I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but um, so don't worry. So basically this starts off at their wedding when they're getting married and then they go on their honeymoon and stuff, but it's so sweet. I mean, Shay Earnshaw just captures Sally and Jack's characters so perfectly. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. Um, but there are like two parts that I was like, oh, one of them actually made me tear up, which for most people it probably wouldn't, but for me it did. But she's talking about how everybody's kind of like treating her differently now that her and Jack are married like because now she's the pumpkin queen and she feels like she's not very queenly but this part is so cute because she's having like anxiety and she was like talking about walking out and how Zero is walking with them she says the tightness in my chest calms and he smiles his loose open dog grin to Zero I'm no different than I was yesterday before I married Jack before I became queen <laughs> and it just makes me want to cry because like dogs are just like such a gift from god i can't even begin to explain it and they just love you for you no matter what and for some reason that part just like made me tear up and i'm like oh my gosh but there's so many cute parts in here i already have a few tabs jack is explaining to her what valentine's day is and he was like humans surprise one another with sweets and roses and poorly written love poems and why asks sally and Jack responds, who knows, Jack grins, tossing his gaze toward the town, but isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I'm just loving this book so much. Oh, and then I'll just read you this last part and then I'll move on. <laughs> but this part was just really beautiful and it says, I tell myself to forget who I'm supposed to be because right now I am simply a ragdoll in a boat with a skeleton whom I love madly, feverishly, floating through a town where my title doesn't matter, queen, 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 where no one knows who I am. It's just so sweet and I like it so much. So yes, I'm gonna read some more of this today. I just wanted to have a cozy day. So I, like I said, I went on a walk, read my Bible, and I've just been like hanging out. I just had breakfast. And basically today I just wanted to read and then do a little bit of sewing because I sewed my own um, iPad case yesterday for the first time. Um, I kind of like, combined two patterns together to make this <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna do like one normal pattern the right way but it's not 
perfect. You can see like the foam that I used on the inside got all crinkly and messed up. I don't think I sewed close enough to the edge on the inside. So I want to make another one of these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the same pattern with like the little thingy like this or if I want to do one straight across. Maybe I'll do one of each, but I'm gonna do one with a thinner inside so it's not so poofy. But I'm gonna make kind of like a thinner one and use it for my books. And then I figured I would bake something. Um, I was gonna make cookies, but I realized that I've had this zucchini sitting on our counter for like a month. <laughs> so I think maybe I'll make zucchini bread instead. Yeah, I just wanted to start a vlog and do like a fun little fall day. Um, I know I've already been talking forever. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at that. I need to like make my vlog shorter. I talk way too much. <laughs> I am going to get started on a sewing project. I'll do a book sleeve and then I will do some baking and some reading and I'll take you guys along with. Okay, my sewing area is a total disaster because I printed out that pattern and everything yesterday and I've just like left everything sprawled out on my desk. You know, I'm just gonna actually start out with this one since this is the one that I picked out specifically for me. And I think it's enough to probably do two of them, but I might just do one for now. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start out with this one and see where it takes me. should have like pressed aka ironed these before I cut them out because <laughs> like, the lines are not straight at all but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know why I think I can sew straight lines without like pinning things in place first. <laughs> so this is already a hot mess. <laughs> it's not going very well. I had to cut off like this much because I cut the pocket not wide enough. So I had to cut it down on the sides so it didn't look all weird. But this is the front piece with the little pocket. So I at least have that going for me. And so this is the back. So I have to attach the back and the front and look how much smaller the front is than the back. There's so much space on the sides. <sighs> It's okay, this is a learning process. This is my first time doing this one, so it's okay. I now know just to cut all my fabric much bigger than I think I need to, and then that'll solve the problem. And probably press the fabric before I cut it out. That's probably a good idea too. Oh my gosh. I just sewed this on backwards. Uh, this was supposed to be facing the other way so that I could flip it inside out. It's fine. I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> okay, so I seam ripped all of that and then flipped it inside out and did it the right way. So we're good now. Definitely, like definitely, definitely not straight at all. I am not a very good sewer, so sew, seamstress, seamstress, sewing person. I'm not very good at it at all. Like I'm actually really bad at it. But I always feel so accomplished when I make something. So we're just gonna keep doing it, you know? You don't have to be good at something to do it as a hobby. Corners aren't like super pointy but that's okay I can live with that so not so not too bad it actually looks kind of cute now it looks way better so then the next part I have to put the lining on the inside because this is just like the fleece so I got these cut out and I did press these not that it really matters now I just have to put that on the inside and sew around the top and then it should be good. Okay, so I put it inside of the lining and then I'm just gonna sew all around the top and then flip it out through the bottom part which I left open and then it should be done. I think I might do some kind of stitch at the top to make it look all cute and fancy, like some leaves or something, but I don't know. Definitely did not sew that perfectly either, but we already knew that. Mad props to the people who come up with these patterns because I would never think to do it like this. Okay, so it should be done now. Just gotta put the lining inside. And there we go, all done. 
I think it's kind of cute. Okay. Pumpkin queen, does she fit? Hey, she fits. Okay. So big enough to fit like a basic hard copy or hard cover book. So that's good to know that, it, yay. Okay, that's good, it fits. <laughs> yay, okay, I'm so glad that I made another one. I will definitely keep practicing. <laughs> it is 1221, so I think I'm gonna get started on that zucchini bread. I'm gonna probably eat some lunch maybe. Let's bake some bread and then I'm gonna read for a while. I'll probably do some chores off camera. I definitely need to do like a load of laundry and vacuum and stuff. So I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys in a little bit. So this recipe calls for vegetable oil. And just a quick note, anytime a recipe calls for vegetable or canola oil, I replace it with butter 100% of the time because number one, it's healthier for you, and number two, it tastes way better. Vegetable oil and canola oil is awful for you. It's so bad if you look at the way that it's made and everything, and this is a whole other subject, but just an FYI, I always use butter, and just a little tip, it tastes so much better when you use butter. <laughs> and it smells so good. I added a ton of chocolate chips and I can smell it and it smells fantastic. So I decided to do the top stitch around this like I was saying and I tried to do like this cute little swirly pattern and I kind of messed it up. Um, my machine got jammed right here so it's like it was going good for a second and then my machine jammed and it got all crooked. The back looks fine though like it's not straight but yeah, so kind of sort of ruined it, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys these super cute candles that I got at the dollar store yesterday. They're little acorns. How stinking cute is that? But I got three of them. I got two orange ones and one white one. And they come in these super cute little gift packages, but I think I'm gonna keep them for myself. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, my brother stopped by for a few minutes to say hi and I cleaned the kitchen, I threw in a load of laundry, I'm feeling so accomplished and good. I got outside today, I read the word today. So now I think I'm just gonna read some more of Long Live the Pumpkin Queen and just swoon. I'll pop back on here to tell you guys how the zucchini bread is, but outside of that, um, I'll just give you an update about the book in a little bit. got the inspiration to actually do my nails. <laughs> uh, I realized that I like kind of broke the top of this one earlier when I was letting the boys out. So instead of it breaking further, I think I'm just gonna do my nails really quick. Maybe I'll put on a movie or a show or something and do those and then I'll get back to reading.
bread really quick it's been cooling down for quite a while oh I just dropped it on the floor okay dogs can have that piece so this is what it looks like it looks so good looks like all the chocolate like went to the bottom oh my gosh that is so good Oh, that is so good. 10 out of 10. Mmm. I think I cooked it enough that, like, the inside is super soft. And the outside has, like, a nice crisp to it. Mmm. Butter. I'm telling you. Butter. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it is 514. Steven is still not home yet, which is making me kind of sad. I'm really surprised. I thought he would have been home quite a while ago. But I'm really liking this so far. I just got to chapter six. Haven't been reading this whole time. Hi. Uh, oh, <laughs> I've been chowing down on that on the zucchini bread. I've had like three. Are you good? I've had like four or five pieces. It's so good. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, okay. Okay. Oh, you're such a good boy. And then Mr. Jealousy comes in. Um, anyway, I just wanted to close this vlog out. I'm going to keep reading this for the rest of the night. Figured I wouldn't show you guys me just sitting here for much longer. Um, I'm going to probably make some caramel apple cider or something festive in fall. And just stare at this beautiful view that I have out of the back window. Um, I can see the lake from the couch, so it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and spending a cozy fall day indoors with me. Um, I hope to spend a fall day outside at some point, <laughs> like going to a pumpkin patch or something, but it's getting pretty dang cold. Today it's been really cold, and um, I have a few more days off work for the rest of the month, so hopefully Steven will too and we can actually go out and do something. But yeah, anyways... Loving the book. I will update you guys in another vlog coming up <laughs> when I read more of it. But for now, thanks for hanging out with me for the day. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!